Hey there, web designer friends. My name is Ron Segal, and I'm here to share with you what I think are going to be the trends of 2024 in web design. And without further ado, let's jump right into it. The first thing that I'm seeing is the rise of 3D interactive elements in web design. This is due to number one, advanced in technologies like 3JS and new tools like Spline coming out and being able to integrate into Webflow websites so more people are creating 3D elements that can react to your mouse, to other interactions on the website, and everybody enjoys using them. This is becoming really, really trendy. Now, you gotta be careful when using this stuff. You don't want to overwhelm and make the websites so heavy to load because that's bad user experience, but when done right, this can be really, really great for the experience and storytelling in web design. The second thing that I'm seeing is dark mode. Now, this is not necessarily new, but we're definitely seeing rise in more and more websites that we're all looking up to using dark mode. And some of them even include switches to switch between the light mode and dark mode, which now also, again, with the rise of technologies like variables in CSS and in Webflow, allows people to very quickly switch between these modes and make the development of dark mode in websites much easier. So I think we're gonna see a lot more of these coming up into 2024. The third thing that I'm seeing is that flat design is dying. Now, let me give you a little bit of context about that. When the iPhone came out in 2007, they came up with a design that was called skeuomorphism, which was about basically designing icons to look like real world, to mimic how things look like in real world. And that was pretty trendy back in the 2000s, but then people got sick of it and we moved into completely flat design, which was trending up until now when people actually get sick a little bit about completely flat design and they're starting to bring back, you'll see more bevels, more 3D in buttons and other elements in the website. Now, I'm not saying the skeuomorphism is coming back completely, but we are seeing people that are just sick of flat design. And you have to understand in trends in general, it's kind of like a pendulum. People would love something and then when everybody's doing it, they're gonna start hating it on it. And the pendulum is always swinging between these, you know, minimalism. No, minimalism is boring. Let's add more stuff. So this is, I'm seeing this happening with flat design right now. The next trend that I'm seeing is more advanced and complex animations on web design. This is also due to new tools and new technologies. So everybody in web design is now excited about GSAP, which is a new library for JavaScript animation that makes really, really smooth animation. And you're seeing these animations on all award-winning websites because they're just beautiful and now they're also easy to implement. Other tools like Rive make interactive animations and interactions much more uh, easy to create and you can create some really, really robust interactions with them. So these new tools allow designers to create some really fancy animations and we're gonna see a lot more of those in 2024. The last trend that I'm seeing over the last few years, and I think we'll see a lot of that in 2024, is basically the templatization of the web. People are creating tons of high quality templates for Framer or Webflow, and people are actually making a lot of money selling these templates, which basically tells you that a lot of people are buying templates. Now, in one side, that's really nice because it allows people to gain access to really high quality design. But the flip side of this is that more and more of the web starts to look the same because everybody's using templates. So whether it's templates, again, for Framer or for Webflow, or of course for WordPress, which is still probably the most popular CMS on the web, everybody's using templates and it just makes the web a little bit boring. Now you might be asking yourself, what about AI? Is AI a trend? How is that going to impact us in 2024? Honestly, I have to say that I'm not seeing this as a trend for 2024. So far, AI has not impacted web design in a meaningful way. Yes, we do have tools like Reloom that makes our work as web designer uh, easier and more efficient. However, that's not impacting any visual style yet or any technological way impacting the way that websites look just yet, maybe later in the future, but for 2024, I don't see AI really impacting a trend in web design. Let me know which one of these trends you are excited about or if you think that I missed any of them and I'll see you on the next video. Peace out.